Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to Yellowstone National Park. From California to Wyoming State, you will gonna pass by the Great Salt Lake, one of the tourist spots here in the state of Utah. It is the largest body of salt water in the Western Hemisphere with 1,700 square miles. It holds 5 billion tons of salt. There is no fish living here because it is 9 times saltier than the ocean. If you were to go on swimming, you couldn't sink like the place in Dead Sea because you will float for the reason that it has high salt content in the water. It's our first day here in Yellowstone National Park and we took a quick picture on their entrance sign. Our first day will start at the north side of the Yellowstone. Yellowstone National Park was founded in 1872 and it's the first national park in the world located in Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. It spans an area of 3,468.4 square miles compromising lakes, canyons, rivers, and mountain ranges. It is also largest high elevation lakes in North America and centered over the Yellowstone Caldera, the largest volcano on the continent. Our first stop is West Ham Geyser Basin. This was formed by a volcanic eruption about 174,000 years ago and turned into a small caldera. Derive its name from a thumb-like projection of Yellowstone Lake, the largest geyser basin on the shore. Abbey's Pool is colorful and interesting here in West Tom Geyser Basin with dimensions of 30 by 57 feet and 53 feet deep. The dark green colored water gives the illusion of bottomless pool. Sitting in the heart of Yellowstone West Palm area is Yellowstone Lake. It is a natural and largest lake at high elevation in North America above 7,000 feet. Its deepest spot is in excess of 390 feet according to recent research. Lewis Falls drop approximately 30 feet located on halfway between the south entrance to the park and Grant Village. Given Falls located on Given River that flows drop roughly 84 feet in a gradual descent. Mm -hmm. 
Norris Geyser Basin is definitely favorite geyser basin here in Yellowstone National Park. This place consists of two areas, the Porcelain Basin and the Back Basin. There are several miles of boardwalks from which you can explore dozens of multicolored thermal features. Now, we are headed to Mammoth Hot Spring. And now, we are here in Mammoth Hot Spring. I must say, this is a must-visit place here in Yellowstone National Park. It was created over thousands of years as hot water from the spring called and deposited calcium carbonate. This is the reason why the limestone formations make this hot spring very unique. Tower Falls is a must-see here in Yellowstone National Park. With 132 feet in height, this is located in Canyon near the Tower Falls General Store. Now, we are walking into a trail to see the beauty of Lower Falls View. This trail is about one part mile one way, but be careful because it's very steep.
Lower Falls is the biggest waterfall here in Yellowstone National Park. With 308 foot tall, I'm not surprised that this is the park's signature waterfall. Upper Falls are 109 feet waterfall certainly merits a visit. It is impressive in its own way. Walk right up to the edge of the dramatic tumbler on brink of the Upper Falls Trail and stare down the thundering 109 foot waterfall. We are here in Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. This is a popular place here in Yellowstone National Park. The colors in the canyon are also a result of hydrothermal alteration. One of the most features here in Yellowstone National Park is the Old Faithful Geyser. It is most visited geyser in the world. It is hurls boiling water and steam 150 feet into the air every 60 to 90 minutes. We are here in Fountain Paint Pot. This place is a part of Lower Geyser Basin, a worth I stop when visiting Yellowstone National Park and should not be missed. Cleb Cedra Geyser is located near Lower Geyser Basin. Look towards the Fountain Paint Pot Trailhead. It continually erupts to height of 45 feet. The Grand Prismatic Spring is one of the tourist attractions here in Yellowstone National Park. You should include this into your list if you are planning to visit Yellowstone. You can also see a lot of wildlife animals, especially bison. So keep your eyes on the road because they are mostly crossing on the street. If you still have an ample of time, you can visit Grand Teton. It is approximately 30 minutes from Yellowstone National Park. Grand Teton offers jagged mountain peaks and glacial lakes.
Yellowstone is the best national park we have ever seen. Hands down view, highly recommended. If you want to visit this place, make sure you check the weather because some roads are closed for snow. It was an amazing experience. When you step on this place, you can say it is worth the mile. It's like walking on another planet. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more travel blog. Bye!